फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल आम आशी अदानी एंड फॉर टूडेज वीडियो आई एम रिव्यूइंग द न्यूज लॉन्च फ्रॉम नायका विच आर देयर क्वॉट्स आई शैड सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड All right now that you guys are super close we can get started let's start by talking about a little bit about the eye shadows these are the Nykaa Cosmetics 4 in 1 Eyes on Me Quad Eye Shadow Palette uh they come in seven shades this kind of reminds me of the elf um bite size eye shadows like this is that tiny but the shades are completely different from elf uh which is a good thing let's read a little bit about the products it has complimentary mattes and shimmers pigmented formula easy to layer beginner friendly perfect for travel size and they have a quad for every kind of look uh, they come in seven shades some of the shades actually look quite similar to me um and these price these come for rupees 349 which is quite affordable i would say i just feel like i expected a little more from the shade range like i just feel like the shade range as i'm looking at it look quite similar like let's have a look at these two this is 5 which is wine and dine and this is 7 brunch party um you can see they look quite similar in terms of the shade range and then we have three which is work and play and two which is desk to date and they also kind of look like your normal warm like the shimmers look very very similar in these so i'm not completely floored by the shade range but obviously it's the product that counts and these are supposed to be beginner friendly so i guess adding a lot of shades would confuse beginners uh, so these are your go to sort of a palette if you don't know what kind of look you're going to create on a vacation you just throw one of these in let's quickly have a look at all the shades that they have to offer the first one is called night out it has um mine is broken so i'm not going to tilt it too much but it has two shimmers two mattes it's a very night i mean night appropriate smoky eye appropriate palette the second one is called desk to date it is a very neutral sort of a palette again i yeah i think these are named appropriately this would be perfect for work um but you know not too much the third one is called work to play so this is kind of a darker shade uh, than compared to the second one like these colors are way more vibrant than the second one uh, again two shimmers and two mattes the fourth one is called sunset stroll it has an orange shade which i am very attracted to by the way it has two beautiful shimmers right here the fifth one is called wine and dine it is a perfect wine palette it has wine shades uh, i really like such palettes to create pink looks the sixth one is called birthday bash not too sure about the color scheme here i'm i like i don't know what kind of looks you would create with this and the seventh one is called brunch party this has more vibrant shades i guess it's more appropriate for the day we've got in all the shades in front of us i think i'm going to just do one palette to try and create a look using just one palette i am very attracted to sunset stroll so i'm going to go ahead with this one if i do feel like dipping into any of the other shades i will tell you let's start with this one i'm going to be dipping right into this shade right here okay it does have a little bit of fallout and i'm going to be placing it right in my crease it's quite pigmented you can already see the color packing up that's quite nice it was very very easy to blend as you can see Next I'm going to take a smaller blending brush dip into this orange shade right here which I'm very attracted to I'm going to use it again right in my crease but not to go above just right here That's very very pigmented like you absolutely can build it up but you don't need to it's super pigmented wow I'm going to be doing the same thing I'm trying to create a very easy breezy sort of a look. I'm not making it too dramatic as long as I use all the four shades I am good. I want to tone down the orange so I'm going to go back into this peach shade and just go up right above it. Well there is some fallout on my face which 
is okay i really like how the um base of the eye has been created now let's dive into the glitters uh, we have two shades this is what they look like quite shimmery um okay i'm thinking of doing like an entire wow that is a beautiful color that's really nice and it was very smooth to use it doesn't look chunky or glittery it looks like a beautiful metallic it's really smooth like the shimmer oh my god it it's like butter it it's super smooth with the other um, shade i'm going to take it on a brush let's just see how it performs on a brush and i'm going to build it right right here in my inner corner it it does pick up well with a brush as well that's nice that's really nice i don't think it's picking up on camera as well as it's picking up in person that looks really pretty and i'm going to line my under eyes with this like just till halfway through that will really open up the eyes going to take some under my brow bone to make it look more cohesive we are very using very little and blending it that's really pretty i ended up using a little bit just on the centers that will really open up the eyes and these are layering on very pretty it's not just like making it look chunky or anything of that sort obviously it works better with your fingers but i think even with the brushes it's doing a re fairly decent job uh because the shades are super super smooth that's really nice i'm going to take a little bit of a tinier brush go into that orange shade and just buff it under my eyes i think that i look looks pretty complete like it looks really nice let me just add on some lashes and be right back this is uh, the finished look you guys i am obsessed with the colors i really like sunset eyes i think they look really good on a lot of indian skin tones for western and indian looks so um i'm really liking the look that i've created but i'm also liking the palettes they are good in pigmentation uh, it's not dry it's not chunky the metallics are really really smooth um so yeah i would give this a thumbs up if you're looking for a small travel size palette if you're a beginner uh, and it's affordable so that's always a good thing uh, if you guys enjoyed this video then please like it subscribe to my channel let me know in the comments what else you'd like me to review i'll see you guys super soon bye